So, questions for Sherilyn. Uh, by the way, the logic's great. It's the best shape it's been in, even though a lot of it's not civilized. Uh, there are parts that are, and thank you for that. That's really awesome. What the heck is this silver thing here in, in this bag? I don't know what that is. I haven't even taken it out of the bag, but I figured I'd just ask. Um, and uh, looking around here, what else do I need to know? You left lots of great stuff. I found your garnishing book, which officially I would be against garnishing, I guess, but I'm not that against it, uh, if it works well. You know, a little bit of decoration doesn't hurt. I don't want to go ape shit with it at all. That would really bother me. And, uh, um, you know, I don't think food should be made into art at all, almost. I guess for a holiday, a special decorated food, um, but like fancy restaurants, I don't like them because they're all about presentation and there's no substance. You know, I can't believe these tiny plates of food cost so much. It's like a testament to how ridiculously dumb people are or something. Just my opinion. Sorry. I mean, if you like it, do it, of course, you know. It's a, it should be a free world. Uh, but it isn't. Culturally, uh, living wasteful dumb lives is dumb. That's a really horrible thing to say, but uh, that's my opinion. This seems to be a little juicer. What a cute little juicer. Huh, I might want to take that up to the, to the view. Or take the big one up, but I should be making juices, you know. Food processor up there, manual. That's cool. Nice. You got. I, you left a bunch of these uh, fancy vinegars and things, and uh, <laughs> and then the mixed nuts. Yeah, that's great. These are great mixed nuts. Um, you said there was a bottle of wine down here that I was supposed to put in another place, and uh, I don't find it. I got some good pants here. That's great. I should get better pans up there. My pants suck. I'm still, I'm, I'm learning to make do, which is great. I think that making a kitchen really simple with as few items as possible is really critical. And one of the things we should do is have to justify every single object that comes into, uh, that comes into a kitchen. No outside objects should be allowed. That sounds extreme to say it that way, like it's a huge problem. But it is a huge problem because, you know, drawers get full of junk and all this stuff. The kitchen just has to be uh, totally professional. Oh, there's a mouse. It's dead. Uh, it's right here. See that? It's a good thing I came down here. This mouse would just sit around and rot. It'd be kind of gross. Uh, also, I should reset the trap. Because I've got mice in all the buildings, and uh, there's shit everywhere. And then I've got bats as well. So, they're a huge problem. Oh, shit. Gotta be careful what dogs go where to keep them from fighting. There's uh, two dogs with a huge problem with each other. Ah. Yeah, there it is. This says, the better rodent trap. Rodent trap. Oh, and it's one word. Isn't that cute? The better rodent trap. Rodent trap. Rodent trap. By Intruder Inc. Well, I'm going to put this mouse right here and just let it rot right in that terrarium there. Just for fun. Uh, no poison was used, so it wouldn't matter if a dog got it. In fact, it'd be good to train the dogs to kill mice, but you know what? They don't eat them. I've noticed. Um, yeah. Another good thing about this particular kind of trap is that the interior part of it is really wide. Look how easy that is to set. I just use my finger. Um, and then, uh, uh, Jesus. Yeah, it's a little surprising. Now, theoretically, it's still probably baited enough. It still has a gooey stuff on the plate, which is great because smaller traps sometimes, they... Uh, you have to keep putting the bait on the little thing more. And, um, yeah, we just haven't had great luck with those. So this has actually done really well. 
uh, somebody was here for a year and uh, was in this building and started using that trap and started catching mice right away and she'd been trying the other ones and those did not do well so uh, that's something to think about Oh, there's a little stereo thing down here. Oh, I have shoes. Wow, that's pretty cool. Those are great looking shoes. Uh, oh, man. I could put a little TV screen down here uh, to watch movies on. And I think that would be wise. On the other hand, people use laptops quite a bit for that. Um, one question is, does a laptop use more energy than a... Uh, just a screen and a little uh, CD player, DVD player. I would suspect yes. I guess I need to know what wattage the, the uh, DVD player uses and then add to that the screen and then compare the two of those together with the laptop. Laptops are very convenient because the movies are already on it. We don't have to burn DVDs or CDs. Um, so, so that's really great. The downside of a laptop is uh, that it could be stolen you know, you can't just leave it there all the time or something. Uh, it's tempting to just have a projector in here and a really good surface to to project onto. That would actually be neat to have movies in here. Uh, it's not set up as a full movie theater. You know, I mean, long term, it would be great to make a, you know, 40-person movie theater. On the other hand, are we going to keep, uh, you know, distancing? I, I think it might be a good idea. So... Wow. Maybe I'll take this big hat up there with me and start using that because uh, I like this hat too. It has a strap, but this is really great for sun. Like to be outside in full sun, that big hat is just great. Oh, my second time going to the lodge alone. Ah. And it's interesting to experience this great space again. It's got, it's got these great high ceilings and everything. Mm. Got tons of cleanup to do on everything. Everything is a colossal mess. Why is oh I see. Right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm sure you have a lot of old backpacks that have zipper problems. Huh. 